really can't believe it, but today is the day. Today is the day that my family of two becomes a family. I can't believe I'm getting a baby. I'm just so excited. It's so surreal. Honestly, if, <laughs> if you're someone watching this video that didn't know me, you might think I'm talking about a real human baby because I just like how excited I am. But no, I'm getting a kitten today. I'm just, no words, no words. Bookie, are you ready for a sister? Do you want, you want, you want a sister? <laughs> what do you think? What do you think about bringing a baby in here? Are you going to be good? You are? You're not going to try to kill her? Oh. What about eat her food? Um, that's what I thought, yeah. Although I will say, there is something a little bit bittersweet about today just because I've had Buki for eight years. She has been my absolute best friend for eight years. Like. I would choose her over anyone I'm dating, a friend. Like, if Boogie wants a spot on the couch, bitch, you better move. Like, she is truly, I <sighs> just like, I just love her so much. And part of me feels like, you know how people always say when they have their second baby, like a human baby, you know, um, that they feel worried, you know, is the other child gonna be okay? Like, I don't have, do I have room in my heart for two babies? Like, I'm really feeling that right now. I'm like, am I replacing her? Like, am I suddenly gonna grow a second heart and like have enough love for both of them? I'm just really like, <laughs> I'm like emotional, I don't know. But at the same time, I'm just, I don't know, in a way I almost feel like I need this child, this addition to my family because, Lately in life, I've been struggling to be happy. Anyone else? I don't know. I'm just really kind of barely hanging on in the happiness department. If I had to break down my happiness into a pie chart, 20% eating shitty food, 10% taking hot baths, 30% my cat, 40% uh, watching Asian dramas, that's pretty much my whole life right now. And uh, is that 100%? I think. And a quick side note, if I have any fellow Asian drama lovers out there, please let me know your favorite series. I would love to have some recommendations from you guys. My personal faves are Strong Woman Do Bong Soon, W, Descendants of the Sun, Boys Over Flowers, Good Morning Call. I could go on and on and on. I seriously, I'm just obsessed. And I mean, I'm pretty bad at math, but I'm pretty sure uh, if I get another cat, the calculations say I'll be 30% happier, right? Is that, how, is that how numbers work? Okay, but seriously, enough fucking around. Uh, let's go get her. She's like a two hour drive away right now. So gonna take a little road trip, um, but first, I bought this car mount so that I could have the camera on while driving, but I don't know if I have this installed right. I feel like it's gonna be like shaking. Um, we'll find out. So Glasses USA is an online boutique that specializes in stylish and affordable glasses. And the most amazing thing about Glasses USA is the fact that their frames come with free lenses. Yes, free. And as you scroll through their site, you'll notice they carry a wide range of brands, including many of your favorite designers such as Ray-Ban. So I thought I would share with you guys a few of my favorite pairs. So uh, here I am putting on a little uh, not at all awkward modeling show for you guys. <laughs> 
But another thing that I really love about them is that they have this nifty little try on tool so you can actually preview what the glasses will look like on your face. Because I know I personally tend to go for very specific shaped glasses like the cat eye shape because I think they make my head look a little bit less egg-like. Um, but if you guys are in the market for some new specs or shades, be sure to check out Glasses USA. And also if you're a first time customer, you get a special offer. So all you have to do is click the link in my description below. this video and fall in love with Rini Chan and want to get their own Rini Chan, I feel like I have to put in a disclaimer or I won't be able to sleep at night uh, that, uh, let, let's just call this segment, you think you want a Savannah, dot dot dot. <laughs> so let's start with the pros. Highly intelligent, literally so, so, so smart, so aware, dog-like loyalty. Like literally will be there by your side wherever you are, even if you like, like we go to the bathroom together, I wake up in the morning and I pee, she comes and she pees right next to me. It's a really healthy breed because it's a new breed. When you have to keep breeding the same breed together, it's like more genetic issues can arise. So because Savannahs are a relatively new breed, they are considered one of the healthiest breeds of cats that you can get. They're super, super, super outgoing. If you want kind of like an in-between, a, a normal cat and a dog, I feel like that is what a savanna is like. And lastly, of course, they're beautiful. I mean, that is originally why I got Buki. I didn't do any research. I was just like, oh, this cat's so pretty, I want it. And it just was a very like, I don't want to say stupid, obviously, because I, I fucking love Buki. But it was just me being young and dumb and thinking, oh, this cat's pretty, I want it, without doing any real research and understanding what I was getting myself into. Now for the negatives. They need constant attention and stimulation. Like, truly, Buki cannot go five minutes without me talking to her, playing with her, uh, turning something on the TV for her to watch, uh, putting her in the window so she can watch. She needs to be stimulated all the time. The aggressive side can come out really easily, or as I like to call like her wild side. It's just all of a sudden, like a, like a switch is flipped and she just becomes insane, like almost like a rabid. But as a kitten, I was literally so scared of her that I would run and lock myself in a room. I'm not joking, like I did that probably like a thousand times. I was genuinely so scared of her. She'd like launch herself at me and just all of a sudden start growling for no reason. It was very, very, very weird. Now I've learned that when she does that, and she only does that now maybe like once a month, so rare. But when she does, I have to really, really, really assert my my own dominance to protect myself. So in the past, I would get scared and I would run away and I think that would make it worse. So now when she does it, even though I'm still scared of her on a certain level, I get in her face and I'm like, I'm the boss. And I like make my eyes really, really wide and I like let her know that like my energy is like, mm, mm, mm. and that works. But nevertheless, it was very, very, very terrifying for the first few years. Jumps very, very, very high. Now, at first, this is gonna seem like the coolest thing ever that your cat can jump from the floor to the top of a door. It's definitely interesting, it's cool. However, it does get old fast. They can get into everything and they will get into everything. Boogie can open doors, like literally any door. I mean, it has to have like a lever. She can't open a doorknob, obviously. She's literally walked in on me pooping multiple times. And at this point, it's just funny to me, but like, luckily she's never done it when I've had someone over. Could you imagine you're at my house and you're going to the bathroom and the cat just lets itself in? And the last thing is they can be very, very, very vocal. And like, this is something that I personally think is cute, but I have had my moments where I've snapped at her because she just like won't stop meowing. And it's like, she's always been this way. So it's not that there's like some kind of health issue or anything. It's just she wants attention. She wants something. 
And so she just keeps meowing and meowing and meowing, like every two seconds, not like the occasional meow, like meow, 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 meow. But anyway, so that is my kind of things you should know about Savannah cats. So along my journey, it got really foggy, like scary foggy. And uh, I listened to an audiobook about how I can swap out my bad brain for a new one. And then I noticed that my car battery was running a little low. So I pulled into a charging station and plugged in for a bit. Next, I went on a long search for a place to go to the bathroom, grab something to eat, you know, uh, and I found a gas station. After using a questionable toilet, I thought maybe, just maybe, I could find something to eat with some sort of nutritional value. But of course I couldn't, so I just settled for an iced tea. She's gonna be here any minute. I'm so excited. I literally just like, whew, it's like becoming real. I just feel, I'm just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. She's here. Rini, can you say hi? <gasps> there she is. I know, baby. We'll be home soon. She's surprisingly calm. When I had Buki this small, she was a nightmare. So maybe that means that Rini is gonna be the good baby. Hmm, what you think? You gonna be the good baby or are you just keeping in your crazy for later? <laughs> Okay, Rainy, a quick pep talk before we go in, okay? Two things you need to know. One, Boogie is probably gonna be really mean at first, but she will eventually love you, I promise. The secret to Boogie is you can't let her smell your fear, okay? So, you gotta have badass bitch energy. Are you ready? You are? All right. Okay, I was not, <laughs> it was not my intention for them to meet that way. Wow, um, good going, Kalel, smart. Come say hi. Come say hi. <gasps> I left for a minute to go get her some food and water. And I'm like, where is she? I, I don't see her anywhere. She found the one little place to hide. <laughs> Look at her little booty. Oh, my baby, it's okay. I promise I won't let her get you. I promise I won't let her get you. Oh, it's okay, baby. You're fine. You are fine. Hi, cutie. I like your big ears. It's so hard just because I don't know which cat I should be with. Should I be with Rini Chan, making sure that she's acclimating to a new space, that she's not stressed, or should I spend more time with Buki, who is feeling like her territory is being taken over? It's just a mew. She's so curious about her reflection. 
And then she comes over here and she gets scared. Who is that girl? Who is that girl? Hmm? Who is that girl? I think I have a pretty good idea where Fatty is. Oh, she's not in here. I thought for sure. I mean, she definitely ate that food. Okay. Okay. Wow. Oh, motherfucker, no. Are you guys starting to understand why I was afraid of her in the past? Boy, come on, let's play. Let's play. Why are you so mad? Oh my God. Oh Lord Jesus, save me. Well, you know, a few minutes ago I was deliberating over which cat I should give my love and attention to, but now neither of them want me. Rini Chan is hiding under the bed, won't come out, and Buki is currently plotting probably the 12 different ways that she could murder me tonight, so. <laughs> I don't know. Guess it's just me sleeping alone tonight. All right, queen. I'm <laughs> Bitch, I'm going to bed, okay? I've put your nice, warm heating pad here, okay? And I've even turned on the birds for you. You still have no Signs of love to show me, huh? <laughs> oh, please. I just feel like this angle and this pose just perfectly captures how I feel right now. I'm just beyond dead, drained. Probably gonna sleep on the floor 